Let me tell you the story of the worst photography trip ever. Me and my girlfriend had a trip planned out to Germany. And it was supposed to be pretty cool, you know. Shoot some bangers, visit some cool locations, get some new inspiration to create again. So there were a couple of places that we wanted to visit, such as Castle Elt, the Geierlei suspension bridge, and then there was also the Gedonsek Reimlich Bopat. Everything started out just fine, you know. So first we went to Castle Elt and I was really super excited for this one, especially because it also looked like a castle, like it was straight out of a Disney movie. It was just super cool. And I was really excited to get those epic drone shots, you know, to make some banger reels from and to make a cool cinematic movie. But when we got there, we were a bit disappointed. Okay, so while we were on our way to the castle else, we noticed this. Apparently, we can't fly the drone over here. And this really sucks because this is one of the main reasons why we came over here. But it is what it is. It's really foggy at the moment, so we hope that we'll be able to yeah, just see something of the castle. And first we have to go for a 15 minute walk down this road. And it's actually pretty cool over here. We're pretty close to the castle at the moment, but just look at this. It's too damn foggy. And it looks like we're not going to see shit. Which really sucks. Maybe we have to wait it out, but yeah, we'll see. So we finally arrived to the spot. This is Castle Elt. It actually looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. These foggy vibes really give this mysterious, spooky look. Which is pretty cool. So we're basically going to take a couple of photos of the castle itself. And of course some portraits of my beautiful girlfriend in front of the castle. And here in front of me, I want you out of focus and the castle in focus. Just with your back towards here, yeah? Okay. Very good. Tilt your head to the back again. Okay, and look towards in front of you, yeah? Okay. Good. Take some verticals again. And now walk towards me. Great. Lovely. Sit over here. And then we can shoot like a leading lines photo. Great. Yeah, great. Awesome. Now look towards the castle again. Yeah. Perfect. from this spot because we got these cool leading lines from this tree on top of the castle. Now we're going up a little bit higher because there's a pretty cool shot at which we can shoot a really cool photo with the Tamron 35 to 150mm. So let's go and we're only like 20 meters up the hill and I'm already freaking exhausted. My cardio sucks. <laughs> 
So we still got some pretty cool bangers. I mean, it was pretty foggy and misty and the photos turned out really cool, both of my girlfriend and the castle itself. And okay, yeah, we couldn't fly the drone, but it is what it is. But this isn't the worst part yet. There is more to come. Then we wanted to go to this pretty cool viewpoint, which was called Wopat or something in German. <laughs> but when we eventually were going up, we saw that it was really, really foggy again. And when we eventually got to the lookout point, as you can see, everything just was foggy as hell. We couldn't see shit and it was just a useless, time-wasted drive of half an hour to go to this viewpoint. And that really sucked because I think I would have been able to get some really cool drone shots and just some photos with my camera in general. But wait, there is more. The next day is really when the shit show started. Because we wanted to go to the Garrelay suspension bridge. And yeah, we just wanted to take some cool wide angle photos of my girlfriend standing in the middle of the bridge with the environment and then the leading lines of the bridge in the middle. We also wanted to get some cool cinematic drone shots, of course. And yeah, we just had a lot of cool shots. But when we were on our way to the bridge, yeah, we just had to drive through pretty foggy weather again. And then like a couple of kilometers further, we got out of the mist. And I thought that it would have been pretty cool to fly up the drone and just get these cool layers of the fog from the air. So we stopped at a gas station. So I took out the drone, I prepared everything and then I just went flying up but also forward at the same time. And stupid me, I put it into sports mode which would allow the drone to fly faster but also the sensors are disabled when you're flying in sports mode. So I flew right into a tree. Good job, Khan. Good job. I'm proud of you. Pat on the back. And this is where all the shit started. So the drone flew out of the tree and I wanted to get the drone, of course, but there was this pretty steep hill going down and I had to go down there to get the drone. And it was like, part forest and the grass was still pretty wet and I had fans on and if you know fans are pretty slippery so I went down there and I fell on my bottom but while I fell on my bottom I also put my hands next to me and this is the result of that so I don't know how it happened and what actually did it but I got this pretty big cut into my hand and the worst of it all is that when I went out to go a bit further to take the drone, I also noticed that the drone was broken. <laughs> Yay, cut in your hand and a broken drone, what a great trip. All of this happened at the end of the trip. But okay, so we went to the gas station and they helped us with this wound. Luckily, my girlfriend is also a nurse, so she really took good care of me. And the ambulance came and then we went to the hospital and then I got some stitches and yeah so uh, that was the little story of this photography trip so there are a couple of things that I've learned from this trip the first one is yeah just don't fly your drone so carelessly don't put it into sports mode when you're ascending and don't go up and forward at the same time if you're not flying in an open field because that's just plain stupid and I don't know why I did that. My drone may still be able to get repaired and my wound is going to heal of course. Thanks again for all the kind people at the gas station in Germany and in the hospital itself and thank you so much for my girlfriend for taking care of me of course. <laughs> Thanks for looking at my shit show. <laughs>